Okay, now we're going to look at a lateral skull, uh, but for trauma, obviously, we need to do that cross table so that we're not moving the patient. A uh, few points here to make. Um, if you have a uh, 10 by 12 cassette uh, CR, make sure, and, and it's going to apply the same as, as our 14 by 17. If you're using a grid cap, make sure you're turning it crosswise as the patient is oriented. This looks lengthwise to you and me, but as the patient's oriented, uh, it needs to be longer from anterior to posterior. And uh, considering that we may not be centering right at the middle of the grid, uh, doing it crosswise uh, with the grid lines going vertically here is going to prevent grid cutoff if it ends up being a little bit lower. So here I've got my cassette. Uh, this is DR with a grid cap. Um, you can just kind of wiggle this underneath and slightly lift. I probably went about a millimeter to lift the backboard so I didn't have to move the patient. Uh, and just be very gentle. Just make sure I'm nice and uh, perpendicular to my central ray, which I've already set up as a cross table. Uh, projection here. I'm going to put my marker here for now. So ideally, our central ray is two inches above the EAM. Notice I'm superior to the EAM here. We see a lot of mistakes where people go superior, meaning anterior, to the patient. And that's going to throw you off center quite a bit. If you're up here, there's a good chance you might clip the occipital bone because of the uh, change in central ray. I want to go down to the EAM and superior two inches. I'm going to go ahead and collimate here. If you notice my crosshair on the grid is a little bit off, I can shift that just a little bit so we're right in the center and we don't experience grid cutoff. And I can put my left marker anterior at the, the superior aspect of the patient. Uh, you need all the way from the uh, mastoid tips up to the top. Obviously you need the whole occipital bone. We've got light going underneath here. This uh, backboard is actually helping to prop that up so we don't clip it on the bottom over here at the cassette side. And of course you can shield still and take on suspended respiration.